Thank you very much. Um, I've already used about three of these backstage. Damn it. Ah, this is such an honor, and I, I'm such an emotional person, so I'll probably go through this whole box. Um, thank you very much. I'm such an honor to be here tonight. And, uh, you know, my, um, my sweet southern mother very lovingly asked me one time, she said, um, Leanne, she, she said, do you have any straight friends? <laughs> uh, it's true. I, I, I do have to admit my straight to a gay ratio is like a little off, but it's, it's cool. I think it's the best thing that's ever happened to my life, honestly. <laughs> You know, I, I get the question, why are you so connected to the LGBTQ community? And uh, I can trace it back to my childhood for a couple of reasons. I was diagnosed with severe psoriasis when I was just two years old. And um, I grew up always feeling very different and in need of hiding most of my body so no one would think they were going to catch this disease if they were to interact with me. You know, once you, oh, God, this is so hard to say. <laughs> Once you start hiding a part of you, you hide all of you. And I know you guys know that all too well. Uh. <laughs> Thank you. It's waterproof. The mascara is waterproof, so it's all good. <laughs> You know, you, uh, you put up a big front and you stand up there with a smile and, and uh, you try to pull it together, but all really what's going on inside is your spirit is, is broken. I was, um, I was in such need of connection, but I was terrified that no one would accept me and that I was not worthy of being loved. A few years ago, I began chipping away little by little at those monstrosities that surrounded my heart. And um, I guess you could say I have done a lot of coming out of the closet in the last few years myself. So. <laughs> I finally could feel again. And um, I could share my heart again. And this time from the depths that could have only been cultivated by walking through hell. You know, that another reason I'm so moved by this community is because my Uncle William, my dad's brother, he was gay. He passed away from AIDS when I was just 11. And even at that age, I was aware of the judgment that was being thrown his way. I witnessed those who loved him treat his being gay as if it was a disease. Now, what I remember of him was his bright spirit that lit up the world wherever he went. He was, he was amazing. He really was. He was a beautiful soul, and I actually get a chance to give him a voice every time I speak about the LGBT community. I do. <laughs> uh -uh. You know, outside of music and outside of the singing voice that I've had, um, I feel like one of my biggest jobs on this earth is to hold space for people to feel loved and not judged. <laughs> to, <laughs> to create a container whether at my concerts or any encounter for that matter, for people to feel seen and to feel loved. Words do not exist to fully express how much receiving this award is a huge part of my personal journey of healing. It really is, <laughs> truly mean it. <laughs> uh. Every one of you here are helping better reveal my mission while I still inhabit this thing of a soul case. So receiving love, you know, doesn't come as easy for me as giving it. However, tonight, I did make a promise to myself to really soak in the love that is in this room because there is so much here. You know, it's not out of selfishness, but so that we may all have a love collaboration together. So that when we leave here tonight, all of us might be inspired to go give love away a thousand times over. Not only to those who share the same beliefs as us, but even to those we may perceive as our enemy. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, we're giving it away, baby.
<laughs> we need to keep striving to be a better example to others, to show others what love is, what forgiveness can be, and what unity can do. You know, I don't feel like we need to change people's minds. I just feel like we need to stand in love. We need to walk in love, and we need to fight for love with love. And we lead the change of heart of others and the perception up to God. So, hate the hate and love the hater. Hate the hate and love the hater is a path that I try to walk in my daily life. And trust me, I am tested on this every moment of every day, as we all are. <laughs> and I fail. I fail a lot of the time because I'm human. And that's not the way that we were raised, to be honest. But if that is our core belief, we will, we will hit the mark more times than we'll miss it. And who better to set the example than all of these loving souls in this room tonight? <laughs> the HRC across the country has been a vessel going where we cannot go. They have been a voice for those who cannot be heard. It is incredibly shameful that in 2017, there are more than 115 anti-LGBT bills being push, pushed by activists opposed to, equal, opposed to equality. How can you be opposed to equality? I don't, ever, I don't understand that. In 30 states. Right here in Tennessee, there are at least 17 discriminatory bills moving through the state legislature that can target LGBT people and their families. I am honored, truly, truly honored, to stand with the human rights campaign in this fight. Every single one of us deserves to be embraced as full members of society, at home, at work, and in every community, because equal means equal, period. HRC is your ally, I am your ally, and I will use my voice and my heart to forever champion equality for the LGBT community. I thank you from the bottom of my heart, and I promise to always be a beacon of light that shines in your honor. I am so honored, and thank you for this beautiful gift. Good night.